Thank you so much, Brian. Well, the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra has celebrated many firsts at, in its history at Kleinhans Music Hall, and this weekend they're adding another one in honor of the celebration of Martin Luther King Jr. For the first time, they will join in on Western New York's longest running celebration of the civil rights leader. And here to tell us more about this special event is Aaron Freeman of the Buffalo Philharmonic Chorus and also event organizer Bessie Patterson. Thank you so much, ladies, both for being here today. Thank Let's talk about the us. event itself, Bessie. Tell us about the history behind this uh, huge event in Buffalo. Yes, it is. Well, it's been going on 34 years. Of course, that wasn't the beginning of it. <laughs> Mr. Clifford Bell began it. Uh, 26 years before I took over in 2007. So I've been having it since 2007 as the uh, coordinator of it. And, the and first this is year Western New York's big official celebration, exactly. biggest celebration of right. uh, the late Dr. My, King Jr. Yes, yes. And uh, the first year we did have it at St. John Baptist Church because I took over like the latter part of the year around December and I had to put it together really fast. That is really fast. But, uh, <laughs> but it was very, very good. It was, it, it outgrew the, um, church, you know, so that's why I decided to take it to Klein Hands. And it's growing even and bigger so it's this getting year. bigger and bigger. And then we've included the uh, Philharmonic Augusta. Uh, of course, the chorus has been there three years singing with us, and we're glad of that. And we're just honored to have the Augusta in this year. And, and Aaron, a big what, event. what kinds of things, uh, what will the music be like on Sunday at this event? Well, we have a great program that combines the orchestra and then the full chorus of the Buffalo Philharmonic Chorus and also a great group of singers from around the city and we'll be doing total praise and lift every voice and sing and works by Samuel Coleridge Taylor and even Handel and um, a spiritual it's gonna be a really wonderful program and I think we had our first rehearsal last night. And you were telling me uh, that there's a, it's a group assembled of about 200 people all singing together in unison. Mm -hmm. It must be something really powerful to hear. Well, I think the most powerful thing was that we all showed up for rehearsal last night at about 7. And these are people who had never met each other before. Mm -hmm. And we came in with the singular purpose of serving the community through music. And in about half an hour, there was this moment when we were rehearsing Lift Every Voice and Sing where we hit this chord. And it was clear that all of these people from all over the city had become one community through the power of music. And it was, it was just a really spectacular moment. And I, and I think we're all really happy to share that joy with everyone on Sunday. Music is absolutely the universal language. So it's, yeah, it's, a, it's exciting to see it be so powerful and bring the community together. Mm -hmm. All in honor, like we said, of Dr. King. The event is happening. The concert happens Sunday evening at 6 p.m.? At 6 p.m. OK, what yes. should people know? They should know to get there early so okay. they can get them a very comfortable seat. The doors will open at 540, and the program will start promptly at 6. Okay. What Can people sing along if they would like to? If they want to. <laughs> they definitely. know the words. We can just recognize yeah. some of those tunes for sure. All right, 6 p.m. Thank you very much, ladies, both for coming in, and good luck um, on Thank Sunday night. Thank us. you very much. Okay. All right.